Welcome back. Here's a look at a story making headlines this evening. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy has picked five GOP members to serve on the House Select Committee to investigate the January 6th insurrection. BNC White House correspondent Ariana Manise has the latest from Washington, D.C. Weeks after the House voted to move forward with a select committee to investigate the January 6th insurrection, there was much uncertainty as to whether House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy would appoint any Republicans to this 13 member panel and his picks are coming out very controversial. Republican Kevin McCarthy is nominating five GOP members to join the 13 member panel to investigate the January 6th riot at the U.S. Capitol. I think Kevin McCarthy has decided that his role as a minority leader in the House of Representatives is to essentially be chauffeur of the clown car. Members include Representative Jim Banks, who will serve as the ranking Republican member, Representative Jim Jordan, Representative Rodney Davis, Representative Kelly Armstrong, and Representative Troy Nels. All five congressmen have aligned themselves with former President Trump as they voted against his impeachment following the insurrection. Banks, Jordan, and Nels defended the big lie that the election fraud led to Trump's defeat. Police are squabbling with protesters. The same oh, group also blocked the certification of the 2020 election in Arizona and Pennsylvania even after the insurrection. Representative Jim Jordan, a committed defender of Trump, is calling the Democratic-led investigation a partisan attack on the former president. You know what this is about? This is about going after President Trump. You know, I mean, the, the Democrats, they don't want to talk about anything else. Was it at the speaker's level where they were offered... Uh, National Guard protection on January 6th and denied it. House Speaker Pelosi appointed eight members earlier this month, including Republican Representative Liz Cheney, who was the third highest ranking Republican until she refused to toe the party line. Representative Pete Aguilar says the committee will be guided by speaking the truth of what happened. This is going to be a very thoughtful exercise, and uh, we wanted the first hearing to be from those folks directly affected, those Capitol Police officers and Metro Police officers who put their life on the line. The committee's first hearing will take place next Tuesday. Speaker Pelosi, who has veto powers over McCarthy's appointees, has yet to weigh in on these five Republicans. Reporting from Washington, I'm Ariana Manise for BNC.